Christmas. She's season. at Satakoy. Oh, cool. I sat a koi once. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was actually a decoy, so I sat it down, so I sat a decoy. That's the, where the word comes from. Did you know that? For sat a koi? It's mm -hmm. like the city of Van Nuys. There was, they were coming over the hill, and we saw it for the first time, and they had this rabbi with them, and they said, what do you think of the valley? And he said, Van Nuys, Van Nuys. That's a Los Angeles exclusive joke. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rich and eating some Corbin. I'm Sadakoi. And <clears throat> wow. Eating artichoke heart hair? Yeah. She had an artichoke for the first time today. How'd you eat it? Like, how was it made? I boiled it. Those are two different things. I boiled it. I boiled it for 25 minutes or so, and then all we just some little mayonnaise. Nice. Yep. Artichokes are delicious. Delicious. Today we're doing a, I think it's an informational video. Ah, I need some info. Yes, uh, this is called The Making of the... Midrangam. A divine, divine instrument. instrument. Oh, cool. So this is going to teach us some stuff about an instrument. I do hope so. Or else it's a very misleading title. It's true. Wouldn't it be funny if it was just like about porridge? Or Ranveer? Ha ha ha! Contractually obligated to bring him up in every video. It's true. He sponsors everything we do. We hate everyone else. Nobody has anything he does, ever. Acting, they all suck. Dancing, they all suck. You know who should have been people's sexiest man in the world? That. That's actually, yeah. comparatively, Run Veer versus Paul Rudd. But granted. I mean, Paul if, Rudd's a funny guy. If, you, sexy, if you bring in his personality, I totally agree. He's, he's a very... Paul uh, Rudd's, yeah, it's a, a very, sense very of humor, humor, but come on. Compared to Run Veer, he's hotter than you. Here we go. Thank you for doing this in inches. Wow. I did not know they gender specific. I had no idea they were different for me too. How many instruments do that percussively in Indian instruments? Mm -hmm. I 
ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് ഞങ്ങൾ ലെയർ ലെയർ ആയിട്ട് ഉണക്കി വരച്ച് പിടിപ്പിച്ചിട്ട് ഇത് അവർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ചില ജോലികളാണ് തോല ഉണക്കാൻ അവർ സഹായിച്ചു പിന്നെ പുരാണ കിട്ടം കല്ല് അത് ഇടിച്ചു കൊടുത്ത് പിന്നെ കല്ലിൽ നിന്ന് നല്ലോണം അരച്ചെടുത്ത് ക്ഷീരപരുവത്തിൽ നമ്മളത് ചരിച്ചെടുക്കുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൈക്കൂലി അത്രയും കാർഡൻ ഇരുപ്പണം ഇതിന് തുടങ്ങിയത് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താ പാരമ്പര്യം വർത്താം ഒരു ഇരുന്നൂറ് ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി അമ്പത് വർഷത്തെ പാരമ്പര്യം എനിക്ക് എന്തോ നാഷണലാണ് ഇവിടെ മലബാറിലെ അധ്യക്ഷത വളരെ കുറവാണ് എനിക്ക് ഔട്ട്സൈഡ് വന്നു Yeah, every instrument. That's uh, I remember somebody commenting on a video where we were <clears throat> reacting to something that was just purely cultural and they were, you know, complaining about the fact that it had nothing to do with artistry and it was like, well, first of all, the channel is about all things pertaining to the culture and when you see a video like this, you realize how much that is in the culture is a work of art. Yeah. That may not fall under fine art, but that is definitively it's, art. No, it's fine art. That is an art. In terms of uh, making stuff. Because making stuff is 100% an art. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because that, that can fall I, under the visual arts. Yeah. Like with painting and sculpting and pottery. And and I like... There's no again, doubt that what, it's art. What's a, what other instruments are there that are specifically designed with, with female and male vocals or otherwise yeah, I no, no idea. idea no clue didn't know that even the, all the classical stuff we've done I I did not realize because I guess they're just tuned differently yeah well you to tune drum company, heads a higher voice as yeah opposed to a lower voice all drum heads are, are tuned some more than others whether it's <laughs> everything from timpani to a, a, a drum set to obviously the um, the sound on a uh, um, tabla mm -hmm. but There's also, I'm sure, the female one versus the male one is going to have, they could both be tuned, for example, he was tuning that one to C sharp. They could both be for C sharp, but the, the female one probably is a, a more slender, not as bombastic, full sound. With a bosom. So that, it, so that it overshadows the delicacy of the female voice versus another one that can accompany the the bravado of a male voice mm -hmm. that's so cool yeah that was awesome how many instrument i'm sure there's like boutique or uh, musician um i don't know what the word is makers of like guitars that oh, do yeah. it all by hand still probably yeah i'm sure there are I obviously the big ones probably not gibson I'm why do i feel like because i have a taylor guitar and i feel like taylor's are still handmade still handmade because when i got the taylor i remember a handbook coming in from it And I think that tailors are still handmade. Maybe, Acoustics, at least. Maybe Acoustic the, six strings. Maybe the higher end ones. Yeah. Obviously, not the ones that they just shove out into. Well, tailors probably not in like Walmart. <laughs> yeah, no. You have to get a tailor from like Guitar Center or yeah. something. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice guitar. Maybe the like higher end ones, maybe still. But yeah, it's, that's one of the things I was in watching it. I love stuff like this because we live in a world, mm -hmm. especially in. It's so technical. Mm -hmm. and high tech and electricity driven and cloud driven the majority of human history hasn't been that it's been this and there's something about human beings having been meant to be connected to the planet 
and to nature in ways that everything that we used to do, like this is, this is so not nature, you know what I mean? And that, if you're holding that instrument and playing it, everything about that is from the earth. It's really, really freaking cool. No, the internals, uh, they're definitely from the earth. It's also killing the earth. Yeah, so is the cloud, by the way. <laughs> uh, Apple is good for the earth, right? <laughs> Apples are good. Yeah. It's such good marketing. Yeah. Anyways, let Apples us know more. Apples were actually wrongfully attributed to as the fallen fruit aspect for Adam and Eve. I don't believe it was an apple, though. That was my own thing. It was a mango. No. Ew. An American mango. <laughs> Evil. Heck yeah. Let us know more information, please. We can actually demo. Just.